Hey guys, it's Narelle here. Welcome back to a new video. This is actually OC introduction number six. So for this video, you're going to be learning about Chio. Last week was Chisana, who is her mother, and this week is her. So yes. So as for fun facts, Chio loves to eat. She's a junkie at heart. It gets so bad that whenever she's at parties with Naru, Naru's like, Chio, stop eating eating you're embarrassing me <laughs> and also chio has a nickname from neru which is chi chan which he which he called her when she was a little thing and she called him net chan so they would often call each other their nicknames every so often chio she actually is very tiny she's not as tall as tunaru so whenever she stands besides either naru or reo she looks like a midget because she's really small and like chisana she doesn't like her hair because in the world they live in is not counted as attractive so um as for her background when Chiyo was younger, and even till now, she has always wanted to make her mother proud of her. Because since Chisana made her to get revenge on Naru, Chisana has very high expectations of her ever since she was young. And whenever she did do princess lessons when she was a child, she would never succeed at them. Because Chiyo is honestly the most clumsiest person you could ever meet. And her mother is just like, I have an embarrassment as a child. So Chio never really got to be herself and she never really got to dream about what she wanted to do with her life because her mother technically controlled her life and she still kind of does. So one day when Chisana gets totally pissed off at her, she kicks Chio out of her house and she was like, you go out there and practice until you're good enough to show me that you're worthy of my love. And Chio gets so mad that she runs to this open field and then she um, sees a little boy running into the field, pissed off as well, crying, all that good stuff. So she's like, oh my gosh, let me go see what's up. So the boy ends up being Naru. And she goes up to him and she's like, hey, how are you? I haven't seen you around here. And he's like, shut up, go away. I don't want to talk to you. And she's like, you're mean. You shouldn't tell a woman to shut up. Like a typical child conversation. So, so they, he basically tells Chio that Nehru won't let him have as much freedom as he would like. And Nehru is too controlling. He's too overprotective. And Naru's like, I want to have a life for myself and dream for myself. So they're kind of stuck in the same situation. And Chio's like, oh my gosh, that's how I am with my mom. So they kind of blend together from that alone. And Chio is like, oh my gosh, he could be a friend that I could treasure and not have to tell my mom about him he could just be my own secret so she ends up hanging with naru a lot and over the time she just ends up falling in love with naru and in the story that's on wattpad if you read the first chapter um her and naru actually make a promise when they're kids saying that they will never be separated and even when they get older and when it's time for them to take what they are seriously they will always be friends and nothing will separate them so chio vows to herself that she will become that daughter her mother is proud of she will get better at the things she lacks at and she just really wants her mother's love in all honesty because throughout all of her life chisana really didn't give two cents about her so she just really wants her mother to just finally to notice her for who she is and she really just wants her mother to be happy and not miserable because things didn't go out right for her life and if you honestly can see Chisana she really is jealous of Chio's happiness I should have said that in her intro but I'm gonna say it here because it still is relatable but Chisana is jealous of Chio's happiness because she got the happiness that she never had with Naisho so that's kind of one one of the main reasons why Chisana treats her so badly because she's happy and she's not so that's just that so thank you guys for watching chio's introduction give this a like comment and share it with your friends and 
I'm actually really happy that a lot of you guys are liking these intros. So next week will most def be Rayo because he does come into play with Chio when she's a kid. So, so look out for that. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.